Hello. In this video, we are going to talk about structures in BigQuery. In the previous video, we discussed about arrays. Arrays are collection of elements of the same data type. Structures are collection of different data type fields. It's like a table. So this is again an example of a table within a table. Here, what you are seeing is employee struct is my width subtable. Fit struct, the term, the keyword is struct. Struct one as employee number, Jack as employee name, age and department. Note that you have different data types and different columns. Unioning them all as EMPL. And when you run this, select star from EMP struct, you would see EMPL, which is this structure, dot employee number. EMPL, again structure, dot employee name, age and department. You would see a prefix EMPL dot. EMPL in this case is the structure. Very simple, it's just a start. Moving on, you have array of structures. Now you can have structures of array, an array of structures. We are going to see both of them. A little complex, but I'm pretty sure you'll get it very soon. So this is an array of structures. Using the square braces, you define array. Remember, we had union of arrays in the previous video. So here I'm using the word struct so structure one, structure two, and structure three as EMPL union with for HR. I, this was for HR, this is IT, this is department HR, and this is department HR for IT. And you have two structures. Running this would give you this results. Getting a little complicated, complicated so Make sure you pause the video, spend a few minutes on this slide. You have department HR, Ria as the department HR. You have IT and Devna as department HR. Within those department, remember the department table, you have a sub table of employees as employee number, employee name, and employee age. Now, let's look at Remember the daily top two, top two counties based on bottles sold using the rank function? This is what we did in, a, in our previous set of videos. I'm going to use the structures and arrays to find out daily two, top two counties based on bottles sold. A quick recap of the rank function. So, so for daily, that means partition by day, date, bottles sold in descending order. Remember the calc underscore rank was less than two. This was what we did for daily top two counties using the rank and the width statement earlier. And this was the output. We're gonna follow the array and structures pattern and solve the same problem the daily top T counties based on bottles sold using array and structures. So this is how I'm going to do. On the left hand side, you're seeing query. On the right hand side, you have the output. Here, I'm going to write with, of course, you need a with statement, sale underscore aggregate array. Select aggregate array or array underscore aggregate structure so i have a structure within an array so array aggregate of the structure now how this structure is going to be created using county and bottles sold as sales i'm going to make sure that i run the internal query before i run the entire query when we do the demo so sale underscore aggregate 
or sales underscore array is a with statement with a greater than of this date. And creating a structure within an array. On top of it, what we are doing is we are using this subquery. So select date for every date, comma, array of select as structure. That means I am creating a structure within an array of county sum of bottles sold. So for every date, here is the date for county and sum of bot. This is sum of bottles sold using the unnest function. Remember the unnest function we discussed in the previous video. So unnest sales as sales. Group by county, order by sum of bottles sold descending. You have to do a group by and then limit to. The limit is just showing you the top two fields or the top two records. I know it's a little bit complicated, but I'll show you in just a minute now. Now, time for the hands-on. So first, we are gonna create a structure. You have employee struct as using the keyword struct. I can first run this for you, which is my internal query. Run selected. And you would see the structure is nothing but just a table with a prefix EMPL, which is the name of the structure. So running this query, the entire query with a with statement will give you exactly the same result. So that starts with the structures. Next, I'm going to run the array of structure. So this is for HR and this is for IT. So you have arrays of structure using this you create an array and the struct is creating in structure understand that array should have the same data type and the data type in this case is a structure the data type of the array but a structure can have different data types and therefore you have number text and number for this data type run this and what you would find is department name, HR, RIA, and this is structure union. So all the employees, it's a table within a table. Now, let's look at another query, which is daily top two counties using the rank function. So daily top two counties using the rank function I have not changed the query except added a date filter. So just running the entire thing is gonna give you this result, which is like this. Remember, it's the same rank function we discussed a couple of videos ago. Now, I am going to do the same logic using the array and the structures. So daily top two counties using array. Now, in order to explain you this query, I know it's a little bit complicated. What I'm doing is I'm going to run one by one. So let me run this. All this is doing is creating a date wise array of structure using county and bottle sold. Now let me run this. So running this query shows like this, still not run. Yeah. So it's running yet and it's gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna pause my video. So what you are seeing here is an, an array of sales counties with dates. So for every date, what's the sales 
So sales dot county sales is structures, and county is an element of the structure sales. And you would see the same thing repeated for every date. Now, what the next step is using this subquery, I am filtering out using the limit to. So select date array of county using this key as structure county comma sum of bottles sold you have to unnest sales so remember the sales is an array which you have to unnest or unnest example look at the previous video on arrays group by county order by some sum of bottles sold running this will give you top two counties daily for iowa there you go so so daily there are two counties page wise which you are able to see now i hope you like this please understand that my aim of this video is to prepare you for machine learning using bigquery so there is no replacement for hands-on make sure you download the scripts using the google drive link mentioned in the video description below and start practicing today thank you for watching